Good morning. Good day to take off yesterday. Tough old fixtures. Relegation six pointers. I suppose Palace in the current state were gettable given the number of injuries to key strikers. Onana. Important draw getting them out of the bottom three, Everton. Atletico Bilbao and Girona. Well, the market got this right. But two goals still from Girona. 1-1 one, one draw here. I'm not sure I would have played. Very tough coupon yesterday. On to today. Manchester City and Brentford. Well, they played this February already. A 1-3 Man City win. Brentford scoring first. That's exactly what we'll expect tonight. Phil Foden hat-trick that day. Kevin De Bruyne likely to get a full 90. It's going to be a tough ask for Brentford. They are in relegation trouble as well. Champions League. I'm afraid I don't have any angles at all. One-off matches. Playoffs at that. Research is pointless. I can't give you any angles. These are the best sides in their respective countries. PSV have dropped points only once, I believe, this season in the Eredivisie. Dortmund got a draw at the weekend with this match in mind, no doubt. Inter Milan, comfortable win at the weekend. Atletico Madrid, I think so too as well. But uh, I don't have any angles for the Champions League. Similarly with international football, it's very hard to do any pre-match research. have to be purely reactive. But English Championship today, English League 1, English League 2, will keep us busy enough with just a smattering of matches. I wonder if there's a, a cup fixture on. I don't think so. No, FA Trophy. That's about it. But I've just researched English League 1, English Championship, English League 1, English League 2, will leave to the in-play stats. Tends to be a good way of... Uh, Trading these matches, odds on favourites first. Just play purely by the in-play stats. We get to know the sides week after week as well. Cardiff and Blackburn, 2.6 the favourite. I will not be researching that, but do read the preview there, soccer24.com. Ipswich against Rotherham. Well, the slight Achilles heel for Ipswich would be their 1-0s and 0-0s uh, in three matches against the bottom three. That's the only negative. Rotherham tend to concede at least two or three goals against the big guns. So I'm expecting two or three goals from Ipswich, as is the market. 1.22 the favourite there. Plymouth and West Brom. Well, I'll have to look at the research here. Plymouth have conceded in the last seven at home. 16th against fifth. All defeats for Plymouth against the top four. And a nil-nil in the last head-to-head. -head. 17 out of 27 goals conceded at home have come second half, so watch out for that. They do a lot of scoring in the last 15 minutes of both halves. I wonder if that's deliberate. West Brom have only won one away. Sorry, only one away against 6th, 9th, 14th and 24th. Playing 16th today, so they're at their worst away from home, West Brom. That's why they're only evens today. Plymouth's poor record against the top four is what puts me against them tonight. But West Brom's away form is not the best, is it? So uh, only winning sporadically. Southampton against Hull. This looks absolutely spot on for Southampton. Only one loss since the 23rd of September. Nine consecutive home wins. Two plus goals scored in the last six at home. Great foundation coming into this. They are playing a top 10 side. Two home defeats against the top four, though, for Hull. So how are they going to get on away from home against the top four? 1-2 win last head-to-head. -head. 11 goals scored at home in the last 15 minutes of the second half. Four, four wins in five for Hull. They're coming into this in good form. Three consecutive away wins. But against the top seven away, a 0-1 win and three defeats. You'll be edging more towards the three defeats, wouldn't you, tonight? Particularly with Southampton's two-plus goal habit. That's really that for the research matches. English League 1, English League 2, I'll be about for those just purely via the in-play stats. And that's about it, really, today. Champions League dominates the coupon. 
we've got our usual lower tier English leagues. Nothing much else? Nope. Not seeing anything of interest. So I'll see you around for the Champions League, English Championship, English League One, English League Two, and of course the Premier League match, which looks very readable indeed, given the very recent head-to-head -head for Manchester City. Remember, that was at Brentford. Imagine what they can do at home.